It is time for our headline segment, and I'm going to, with with uh, Josh Pito Peterson down and watching the Braves play tonight, uh, I'm going to call in the reserves. I'm going to get a newspaper guy from Murfreesboro. He is the prep editor deluxe. Mr. Tom Crager joins us. How you doing tonight, Craigs? So I need to be throwing some flame and heat tonight, right? You, you're pulling me out well, to the closing. Yeah, we well, you bringing you in for the close tonight is as right. uh, you you remember the the headline segment yep. that we that oh, we yeah. did last week and and yep. uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start and I'm going to start because okay. I I don't have that many so I'm I'm going to oh. go ahead and start Al Cobb tonight Giles County five touchdowns in the first half as Giles County defeats Spring Hill fifty to eight that's going to be something that everybody talks about tomorrow. What's that? Is that, and that's O'Connor's return, right? Uh, well, he didn't. He practiced them this week, but he was not available to get be on the sidelines with them. Okay, I got one for you. All right. Uh, where I was at tonight, Siegel uh, beats uh, Oakland thirty-five to nothing. Headline on that is "Mercy Me" because uh, that was uh, Mercy Rule number six out of seven games for the undefeated Stars. Wow, big stuff there. Uh, I got another one that's going to be. Uh, I, I, I don't know that you would call it an upset necessarily, but but uh, the uh, I, as a matter of fact, it's really not an upset. Friendship Christian defeats Trousdale County tonight. What the headline is is that they shut them out and defeated them thirty-one to nothing. How stout is wow. that? That that that's a very stout. All right, here's one for you. This is a this is a look at the uh, beach beach hold on to beat. Uh, Hendersonville, 28-21. That's a bragging rights up there in Sumner County, I would say. Yeah, how good. Hendersonville's had a couple of good weeks here, haven't they? Yeah, they're, they're getting better. In that. I mean, to hold uh, them to 28 points with the herd kid, that's, that's not bad. Eagleville tonight gets back into the district race with a big win over Forrest. Um, the Eagles can still make some noise, and they're probably going to qualify for the playoffs. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And, uh, hey, what about, uh, how about Riverdale uh, waking up and uh, beating Laverne 49-13? Uh, headlines, just like old times. <laughs> oh, ouch. That that would be something else. All right, I know you're a big fan of District tri- uh, 6 AAA. Oh, gosh. Yep. Spoiler. Cookville, no, actually not, probably not. Cookville uh, gets the win, uh, forty to nothing over Crossville, so they have already guaranteed themselves a shot in the playoffs. They will finish in the top two, but with Warren County's win over Coffee County, now it's going to be down between White County and Warren County in Week Eight. The winner of that one's going to the playoffs. <laughs> and, and, and like I said, it's kind of like last year. Probably the the winner, whoever gets the second place, will probably have three wins. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably exactly right there. Uh, you got anything else? Well, I think I think that's it for for this week. Um, for, I will say this: Hey, what about the Cannon County uh, uh, Lions scored 13 points tonight? Went into the seat, went into this week only scoring 27 for the whole year. So that's uh, you know, that could got to be like 40 to 13. So that's a uh, that's a step in the right direction, even though they got beat. Yeah, uh, and uh, great story that that uh, you you published the link to uh, uh, Coach Shrink uh, went goes yeah, down to Falkville, Alabama, Alabama, and his team's uh-huh. they're they're calling him the Nick Saban of Falkville. Yeah, yeah, he's undefeated going into this week. So, uh, uh, and that's a team that historically has not been very good from what I was from what I read. Yeah, well, uh, the uh, Cannon County folks, I'm sure that they read read that with a little bit of of anguish, uh, letting uh-huh. him get away, Tom. Uh, good luck. I appreciate you. What are you going to do next week? Are you going to cover the Oakland game? I guess I'll probably be at Oakland, I guess. I mean, Oakland and uh, the Christian School and uh, Cannon County are really the only three games uh, we got going on. Probably uh, Christian School and, uh, and uh, Oakland is probably the only two that we'll probably really worry about. All right. So. We'll talk to you next week then, my friend. All right. We'll see you. Bye. And that's going to do it for us for the school board edition of Friday Night Thunder, brought to you by Ascend Federal Credit Union. For Danny Catalano, Samantha Terrell, Brian Markham, and Rob Clutter, I am Dennis Weaver, thanking you for listening. Hope that you will join us next week. Until then, have a great weekend. Good night, everybody.